Hello group, Jeff here. This video is uh, mainly for Mickey because he asked a couple questions. Uh, one on uh, how to uh, save movies in uh, still images. So let's get going. So I have, uh, before we get going, I have a uh, DS10, or I'm sorry, a DS16 with my uh, Canon to uh, T2 adapter with a little three millimeter spacer so I can get focused down in the basement and a nifty 50. So we're going to use this camera uh, to capture the frames. So I'm going to open up Millencamp Sky and uh, we'll start the camera. And you can see I've got my 14 just about kissing the ceiling here. And a bunch of boxes and lights. Focus is a little soft, but uh, this is just a test. So what you want to do, Mickey, is uh, go to Options, Preferences, and if you have uh, a machine that allows you to select either an NVIDIA uh, not sure about AMD or an Intel uh, UHD graphics chip, I would select one of those. I'm an NVIDIA guy. They have uh, uh, more floating port cores than uh, your CPU or uh, the Intel graphics chip. So I always, I always try to stick to the Intel, or not, I'm sorry, the uh, NVIDIA. Then you would, uh, after you select the one you want, you have to apply it. Then you would close out of the program and then restart it for that to take effect. So the first place we're going to go is the old record menu. And uh, I am saving my records to... my Mellencam Sky folder, which is in Documents. So I'm going to make a new folder inside of that, and I'm going to call these Movies. And then uh, right below that are the uh, the format for how it saves. So you've got year, month, date, hour, second, minute. And then a prefix if you want to add one. I use For my prefix I'll add, uh, so if I'm shooting a planet or the moon, I'll put the planet's name in or the moon. So we'll do that here. We'll just do basement. And uh, if this were a stock install, it would be on Siri, or I'm sorry, Sear. I use AVIs because I'm a PIP and a Registrack, uh, Registack guy, and they take AVIs, as uh, I think Deep Sky Stacker also takes AVIs. So I've kind of been an AVI guy for my needs. And then down below, it shows you uh, where and how it would save uh, the movie. Limits would be, uh, if you want to set it up as a time limit, it's in seconds. You would select this box and then make it however many seconds you want. Or in my case, I like to make thousand frame movies. And for example, Jupiter, I would make uh, 10 1,000 frame movies because I can get that many done in about five or six minutes with the two cameras I would use, the uh, 287 or the 432. So I would set my frame limit to 1,000, apply it, and then in batch record, I would put number of videos 10, that'll give me my 10,000 frames, 
And I, the interval between the movies, I would make it uh, uh, zero because I want to click them off pretty quick. Say OK. And then I would just hit record. And down in the bottom here, I'm going to stop this record just because uh, I don't want to uh, have that many frames going. But we'll go back into process and we'll make this the frame limit. We'll make the frame limit 10 frames and we'll apply that. We also, oh, I'm not going to change any of these, so we'll say OK and then I'll hit record. And down in the bottom left here, it says uh, record time, frame number. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to do capture, auto, or batch record. And it will say down in the bottom uh, left, it'll have batch record 2 of 10. It gives me the time, the frame count, the frame size, and the free space. So I'm already at 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine. And if we look up here, we will see that this will go back blue. So it's made the ten movies. We will find them in my documents, Mellencamp Sky Movies. There's the date. And there are all of the movies that it just made. So these are 1,000 frames. Or, I, I'm sorry, these are 10 frames. But uh, if I was shooting a planet, they would be 1,000 frames. And then I would bring these movies into PIP first and let PIP pick the best. Uh, 1500 because Registack likes 1500 frames for some reason. I, you throw more at it, it gets a little funky. So I'm going to delete these movies because I don't want to tie up all this space. Now, what we're going to do is set up the sequence for stills, and that would be in capture. So I'm going to go to Documents. Oops, wrong one. I'm sorry. I want this computer. This PC, there it is. Documents, Melancom Sky, and I'm going to just make a folder called stills. Oops, what did it do? S T I L O S. Say OK. And now it's going to save. Uh, I'll put a prefix of. Uh, M51, I'll save it, I probably should have applied it, oh. and apply it. So I'm going to make my uh, total images 10. I'll apply that. Go back to batch record. Time slot in seconds. Capture every frame. We'll do a 10 second hold. And we'll go to capture, auto capture. And 
and apparently you cannot do a batch capture, uh, which is okay. So what I would do here is if I was drifting real bad, uh, so in 30 seconds I'm drifting, starting to drift already, then I would use this uh, capture still images and I would capture every frame and then uh, using the hand controller as the drift got too bad I would bump it back and uh, let's just say you're capturing a thousand frames out of those thousand frames you might have uh, 700 that are good that that you know the number of frames is irrelevant it's just uh, then when you bring those good frames into whatever stacking program you want to use, uh, you've got decent frames that you can get star lines on. So that would be, uh, let's go to documents, smoke of sky, and there are my stills. Ten of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is how you would capture stills and movies and how you can select the formats for each of those. Uh, I like for my movies, I like AVIs. Uh, for my stills, I'm a TIFF guy. Uh, TIFF is uh, a little easier to work on and it also uh, in Photoshop you can, uh, TIFF has a compression, an LZ uh, compression. So even though it's an uncompressed image, it will compress the uh, file. So I hope that helped you out, Mickey. Uh, we'll see you in the group, buddy.